days are numbered. It won't be long until Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the Core Worlds, now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. How much for all this stuff, Tyvark? Chiwi Aita ka chongji cha. Agi inko tune chuna muri ra. Tongi wama jiko na. Tongu ipa nonku nek abog. Thanks, Tyvark. Catch you next week. I always shop here. Tyvark's prices are the best in the city. Uchua penki. Tongi wama ji. Human ak un ika tune. Chi ita kanki chana kilikon. ชีวะเอไอตาคังกีต้องฮิตวามาอักอิงโกตุเนปอตองฮิวามาจิอักกิอิงโกตุต้องปานโนคุนโนเนกชีวิไอตาคาจองจิจาคีมูลิราคุน
Yes, she rented a room every week or so. Coincidentally, it was right about the same time that Sunri would show up. They didn't seem all that discreet either. I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room, in private, is their business. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although if you think her Sith Master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. I was in my room, minding my own business with the latest copy of Pazak Weekly, checking out the listings for the big tournament that's going to be held here soon, when I heard a blaster shot. Being still alive, and therefore smart enough not to stick my head out immediately, I didn't go out right away. I looked out after a minute and saw Glupor in the hall by Alas's room, and Sunri running like the wind. You can't tell me that someone who was running like that, and he was pretty fast for a cripple, isn't guilty. Sunri, I only heard of one kept the rest. I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room, and there isn't a... Oh, well, Alasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. Well, one time, I saw Alasa coming in wearing this big cloak. I was on my way to my room, and she normally wears stuff like that, so I didn't pay her too much attention. But this time, I accidentally brushed up against her. Accidentally, of course. And her cloak fell open. Now, I don't have any qualms about the Sith. I leave them alone, and they leave me alone. And seeing as how Alasa had a Sith lightsaber under her cloak, I'm not going to poke that hornet's nest. Seems so. But I'm not getting myself in any further with the Sith. I know how ruthless they are. Now that's all I'm going to tell you. I'll testify to the court, but you aren't going to get anything else out of me. No problem. Got it. Lupor picha ge borang turang Lupor wangki yuma bat malio no wish Lupor no una punk pa muli ra kong king Kun muli ra slimo poi wanga kun maka chisa glupor Tong abog sint chan glupor ni non kiri Lupor chi waka eita kan ki cha na selkat Lupor ni bo muli ra glupo Ni um sit, lupor ja, lupor pampa ki muli ra kun kin, lupor cha chopa, si cha wa wish kun kun, lupor bagra shak kan ti cha um yoman, kan i tselkat wa ma ji kun na, lupor ang in katune, lupor no muli ra, chuna muli ra, tompa no kun, no nek, lupor cha chopa, lupor bagra shak kan ti ma chit um, lupor nada cha wa yishun kun. My Cathar blood seethes at the thought of that man still running free. I cannot stand still while I think about it, but... But I will not give in to the dark side, either. He will pay for his crimes, though. He will most likely be following us. Me. If we could find him first, then he may not be able to set in motion whatever he has in store for us. I hear you are investigating the Sunri murder trial, I wrote. This case is not at all what it appears to be. The many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. This 
murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey uh, by the footprints. You understand, yes? Dear, dear. I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They've both kept their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic, likely in their embassies. No, 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 of course not. You think state secrets are for sale on the common market? You would have to be hmm, devious to get what you want. Heed my advice, Jedi, and you may yet find the truths in this murder. Only. You gotta pay a 20 credit toll to walk down this street. Hiding behind the Selkath laws. Typical Republic cowards. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. Sorry, but you're too late to recruit me. I've just hired on with the Sith. Of course, if the Republic has a better offer. I don't have time. Sorry, but you're... Hey, keep your lectures. The Sith pay well, and they pay up front. That's all I care about. What do you want, Rainback? I don't have the time or desire to bother speaking with wandering idiots. You're probably another race fan in a fool stupor after that big win by local elf Quedal Molten. I will get tired of your voice in short order, so make it quick. Nothing about the current state of the races make me want to watch, especially if it means associating with the cattle grouped in there now. I admire the mercenary spirit of Cassandra Mateen. Other than that, no. Her mercenary spirit isn't what's selling the auto prints. She does have other qualities as well. Harriet, this is a poor use of my time. You should know not to annoy one of my kind. Grow some gills and swim the planet yourself. There's no substitute for personal experience. I have nothing else to say on the subject. 
Kugu. This visit was dread. Takum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu. Tongai tuam jiji yu malitpa. Takum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu ai thao donga. Tulpa da bonk molya gando danak. Kachi chu ai thao donga. In king kuno bamuli rachit kun. Slima bud. Takum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu ai thao donga. Tulpa da bonk molya gando danako chuchut. Tong hai tuam jiji yu malitpa ang ninko tu. Tulba da bunk walya gando de nago chuchut. Kachi chu ai tha... Tong hai tuam jiji yu malith pa ang ninkot. Gara dun pa kun pa yiya moka pa ata! Puna nai takum justak miki... Ki puna na bon sha. We need more rules about overpowered bikes. Hakta just rides over everything.
I think you had it in you, but I guess I... Could I get an auto print? You just had the quickest rise to say... Tiska do suki gumba, tiska do suki gumba, na ona na kachu. Takum ju stak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu ai thao donga, tul... Donga ai takum ju... Kachi chu... Takum ju donga ai... Tongai kavatum takum justak miki gravel mogo. 
Mokau Danyafoki Chachiska to Punta Kakaspaka Bano I don't waste time with fans. So if this is about an auto print, forget it. You can buy one when I get more made up. Wait. No. You're the new sector champion, aren't you? You're really cutting into my profits. What do you want? We'll get it over with. I know that if you do absolutely anything wrong, you get locked up. Seems like finding criminals is a great way to bring in the credits. I'm surprised they even let us race. Wouldn't want the crowds to get too excited. Excitement makes people unpredictable in their soul. Of course you do. Everyone wants time with the fabulous Cassandra Matil. There just isn't enough of me to go around. Two years. But that's more than enough time to know the secrets behind the sport. It's all about the image you portray. Hukta is the thug. People like him because he's mean. I'm the pretty one, the one that people want to take home. Even if we don't win, we're easy to remember. That keeps the fans coming back. So race organizers want us at their tracks. Local racers don't bring in off-world crowds. They need us. At least they would if there was still a functioning circuit. You should know better than any of us. You're the sector champion after all. You tell me the track is good. <sighs> yes, yes. Don't hurry back. Chachiska to Punta Kakaspaka. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. Any armor plating for my spook bike? I thought this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk? You fish are a strange breed. Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back.
turned in, nobody else had a chance. Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. I don't know much about the facts of the case, but I find it hard to believe. I never met Sunri, but he's a hero of the Republic, not a murderer. The so-called evidence against him is an obvious frame-up. It has to be. The Sith must have plotted Sunri's downfall to embarrass and discredit the Republic. The Republic? That makes no sense. Sunri has no enemies in the Republic, and his conviction will make all of our jobs more difficult. If you want to solve this mess, I would focus on the Sith. That, or check out the murder scene at the hotel. Talk to the other guests. Maybe they know something. I regret I could not be of more assistance in your investigation. Is there anything else? A beautiful place, Sato City. A paradise on the water. But remember, within the city itself, the Selkath have absolute authority. They're a tough race, but fair. Obey the Selkath laws, keep the peace, and you should encounter no problems. I assume you received a visitor guide to the city when you docked your ship. I regret there is little I can tell you that's not in the visitor guide, my good Jedi. My duties rarely permit me to venture beyond the walls of the Republic Embassy. Kolto is a precious resource. Its healing powers are near miraculous. During times of war, Kolto becomes even more valuable. 
As long as we have the permits, we will continue to harvest Colto and ship it to our Republic soldiers battling against the Sith. Of course, the Sith enjoy the very same privileges. If there was some way we could gain an edge over the Sith in our Colto supply. But the Selkath are fiercely protective of their neutrality in this conflict. They do not want to grant either side an advantage. Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manon? Hmm. Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was... damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Faraxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manon. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. The Sith have got the Selkath to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Good call. Just make sure you don't push him too hard or we might lose him. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. So you're the one who's gonna try to get into the Sith base, eh? Huh, good luck, you're gonna need it. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. The encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. The holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. Well, the second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even been able to slice past the first matrix. I've been at this for hours. I've ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Since Roland said you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions.
splice the encryption on those cards. They change the codes regularly, so you'll have to use it pretty soon or not at all. So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. This one has been most resistant. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. We're not sure exactly. If you can convince him to talk, we should be able to find that all out. The Sith protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in on themselves, so force compulsions won't affect them. Combine this with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes it takes months to get them to tell what they know. Do you want to interrogate him now? While the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion, we have found a few hooks you might find useful. He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. But there is a catch. Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth serum. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. It causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, he may forget everything we want to know. Shall we get it started then? Hey you, wake up. Someone wants to talk to you. <sighs> Uh, what do you want? Uh, what companion? Uh, what? Tila. Yes. It All right. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. What's the passcode to the Sith base? It's... it's Zeta 2456988 Alpha. Just... no more. Good. With this pass, you should be able to get into the Sith base without trouble. Good job in getting... I can't talk now. I've got to get this call to load it up before my shift is over.
You are the one defending Sanri now. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour of Sure, do you need to know anything else? Elasa, you it doesn't take a genius to figure. Well, okay. Sorry, but you're too late to re- Then why are you bothering me? I'm here on Manan to find work as a mercenary. I know you. You're the Arbiter in the murder trial. Elasa was a friend of mine. If there's any justice in the galaxy, They'll feed Sunray to the Phyrexes. Shouldn't you be preparing for the trial? What are you doing here? You can ask, but I doubt you'll get many answers you'll like. Who knows? Some scheming plot, no doubt. Hopefully the Selkath uncover it and ban the Republic from the planet. Is there anything else? I know he'd already be tried, convicted, and executed if the Selkath knew anything about justice. But the fish people are as weak as the Republic when it comes to such matters. Is there anything else? Who knows? Is there... I haven't the faintest clue as to what you're talking about. Is there... Go. I know. Shouldn't you be... Oh, really? You mean someone like... Hmm. <laughs> yes, well, I... I know you. Shouldn't... If you have a pass, why are you bothering me with it? You there. I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? You! I don't recognize you. I know the face of every Sith on this planet. We'll get to the bottom of this. Commander Gran, report to the security desk immediately. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them. And their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Sound the alarm! Droids, destroy them! <laughs> Hey there, what can I do? Okay. 
flow control may flood occupied chambers. Please ensure all receiving chambers are empty. Thank <laughs> you. 
displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Well, let me guess. You intend to collect this reward, right? <laughs> See? What did I tell you? As you wish, my eager apprentices. We shall remove this thorn from Malak's side once and for all. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here you've been appointed as arbiter in Sunri's trial. My husband is innocent. Please don't let him go to jail for a crime he didn't commit. Of, of course not. He, he, yes. Yes, he was having an affair. He was seeing that, that Sith woman. After all these years we've been together, he just, just dropped me like that. Not publicly, oh no. But inside, that's what it feels like. I started seeing Alasa last year. I, I had my suspicions for a while, but he was careless. Pretty soon everyone knew. But even though I'm sure that harlot was only using him, I know he couldn't have killed her. He came and confessed to the affair to me. He said he was going to there to break it off, to end it. Maybe the Sith woman attacked him, and he had to defend himself. But even though he cheated on me, inside he's still the man I loved. Yeah. He's too kind and gentle to have killed her in cold blood. That was a long time ago, in a war far, far away. He's changed now. 
settle down. Oh, just please, prove his innocence. This is all a plot to discredit the Republic. Sunry is a victim of a Sith frame-up. It's possible. I haven't seen Sunry since I crashed on Kashyyyk. A man can change a lot in that time. A man I knew could never have done this crime, however. Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. The real evidence will prove Sunri didn't do this. I hear you've been a I started seeing Alasa last year. I... I had... But even though I'm... Maybe... But even... The Find the real... I hear you've been... Lies! It... It must be! And you, the Sith, would never let a Republic hero get away. You must find Sunri in it. Find the re... I hear you've been... Sunri is... He's a cripple. That's true. And there's no... Find the... 